Welcome to History Uncovered, where we delve into the stories and events that have shaped our world. If you're a fan of history and love learning about the people and events that have shaped our world, then be sure to hit that subscribe button below. We release new videos every day so you'll always have something new to discover. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when our latest episodes are released, and you'll be supporting us in our mission to bring fascinating stories from the past to a wider audience. If you have ideas of what we should make a video about next, let us know in the comment section. In this episode, we will be discussing the life and legacy of one of the most influential figures in ancient Roman history, Emperor Augustus. Born in 63 BC as Gaius Octavius, Augustus was the adopted son of Julius Caesar and became the first Roman emperor, ruling from 27 BC until his death in 14 AD. Augustus' reign marked a turning point in Roman history, transforming the Roman Republic into an autocratic empire leaving an enduring legacy that shaped the world we know today. Augustus came to power after a period of political turmoil that followed the assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 BC. At the time, Rome was a republic ruled by two consuls, but Augustus managed to consolidate his power by establishing a one-man rule through a series of constitutional reforms. He also reformed the Roman military and expanded the empire by conquering territories in Spain, Gaul, and Egypt. The Battle of Philippi was a significant turning point in the history of the Roman Republic. Fought in 42 BC, the conflict arose from a power struggle between the Second Triumvirate, which consisted of Octavian, Mark Antony, and Lepidus, and the Republican forces led by Brutus and Cassius. The two sides clashed in two separate battles near the city of Philippi in northern Greece. In the first battle, the Republican forces managed to push back the Triumvirate's army, but in the second battle, the Triumvirate's forces emerged victorious. Brutus and Cassius both committed suicide following their defeat, leaving Octavian and Mark Antony in control of the Roman Empire. The Battle of Philippi was significant not only because it cemented the Triumvirate's power, but also because it marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire. Following the battle, Octavian and Antony divided the Roman world between them, with Octavian ruling over the western half of the empire and Antony ruling over the east. The two would eventually come into conflict, leading to the Battle of Actium and Augustus' eventual rise to sole power as the first Roman emperor. The Cantabrian Wars were a series of military campaigns fought by Augustus in the region of Cantabria in northern Spain between 29 and 19 BC. The Cantabrians were a fierce tribe who had been resisting Roman attempts to conquer them for decades, and their territory was seen as a valuable prize due to its rich mineral resources. Augustus personally led several expeditions into the region, facing fierce resistance from the Cantabrian warriors. Despite initial setbacks, he was eventually able to defeat the Cantabrians through a combination of military force and diplomacy. He constructed a network of roads and fortresses in the region to maintain Roman control and suppress any further uprisings. Augustus' involvement in the Cantabrian Wars was significant for several reasons. Firstly, it demonstrated his skill as a military leader, as he was able to overcome a formidable enemy and expand Roman territory. Secondly, it helped to consolidate his power and cement his position as the first Roman emperor. Finally, it brought valuable resources into the Roman Empire, including gold, silver, and iron, which were used to finance future military campaigns and strengthen the economy. The Cantabrian Wars were also significant in that they marked the beginning of a new phase in Roman history, in which the empire shifted its focus from conquering new territories to maintaining control over its vast territories. The conquest of Cantabria marked the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Roman Empire, as Augustus established himself as the undisputed ruler of Rome and set the stage for centuries of imperial rule. One of Augustus' most significant achievements was the establishment of the Pax Romana, or Roman peace, which brought stability and prosperity to the empire for over two centuries. He accomplished this through a series of economic and social reforms, such as the creation of a professional civil service, a standing army, and a common currency. Augustus also invested heavily in infrastructure, building roads, aqueducts, and public buildings such as the famous Pantheon. He also initiated a massive public works program, which provided employment opportunities for the poor and helped to reduce social unrest. 
These infrastructure projects were designed to not only beautify the empire, but to make it more accessible and easier to govern. In addition, Augustus enacted policies that improved the lives of the citizens, including reforms to the legal system and a program that provided grain to the poor at reduced prices. Another significant accomplishment of Augustus was his cultural patronage. He supported the arts and literature, commissioning the construction of many public monuments and sponsoring poets like Virgil and Horace. Augustus' reign saw the development of a distinct Roman style of art and architecture that became world famous. He also encouraged the development of Latin literature, which would later become the basis for the Romance languages. Augustus was a master of propaganda and his image was carefully crafted to present him as a powerful and virtuous leader. Augustus was conscious of the power of symbols and created an image of himself as a wise, just, and merciful leader. Augustus presented himself as a pious and virtuous leader who was guided by the gods. He portrayed himself as a restorer of Roman tradition and morality who was dedicated to the well-being of the people. He also depicted himself as a military hero, with statues and artwork depicting him in military garb, emphasizing his role as the protector of Rome. The cult of personality surrounding Augustus was also reflected in the art and literature of the time. Many artists and writers were commissioned to produce works that celebrated his reign and promoted his image. For example, the poet Virgil wrote the Aeneid, an epic poem that celebrated the founding of Rome and portrayed Augustus as a descendant of the Trojan hero Aeneas. Augustus' image was carefully constructed and maintained throughout his reign, and it continued to influence Roman art and culture long after his death. His legacy as a master of propaganda and symbol is still felt today, with modern leaders using similar techniques to shape public opinion and promote their own image. Despite his many achievements, Augustus was not without his critics. Some saw him as a dictator, and there were several attempts on his life, including a plot by his own wife and daughter. However, Augustus managed to maintain his power through a combination of propaganda, censorship, and repression. Augustus' legacy endured long after his death, and his rule became a model for future empires, including the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. He was also revered by later Roman emperors, who saw themselves as his heirs. Augustus' reign marked the beginning of the imperial era of Rome, which lasted for almost 500 years. In conclusion, Emperor Augustus was one of the most important figures in ancient Roman history. He transformed the Roman Republic into an autocratic empire, expanded the empire, and established the Pax Romana, which brought stability and prosperity to the empire for over two centuries. Augustus also invested in infrastructure, supported the arts and literature, and encouraged the development of Latin literature. Although his rule was not without its critics, his legacy endures to this day. Thank you for watching this episode of History Uncovered. If you found this video informative and engaging, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from the past. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video.